Hi, everybody. Welcome to this episode of AppsTube. Um, today, I'm interviewing a student, Kelly Sutherland. Um, Kelly is going into her final semester of our program. Uh, thank you, Kelly, for joining us. Thanks for having me. So, uh, Kelly, can you tell everyone a little bit about your research area? Sure. Um, I consider myself an applied cognitive psychologist. I'm on the um, cognitive track in apps. Um, and so I research legal decision making. Um, I'm in the Applied Cognition Research Lab with Dr. Miko Wilford. Mm -hmm. And I do most of my research surrounding plea bargaining. Um, why do people accept pleas, especially innocent defendants? Um, what sort of systematic or situational factors would lead to an innocent person pleading guilty and accepting responsibility sure. for a crime? Wow, wow. That really definitely sounds like it has a lot of applied real world um, relevance. Can you say more about from your point of view, where do you see yourself taking this research? Sure, I would love to work in um, any job that has a policy implications, um, mm -hmm. really the prevention side of wrongful convictions. Uh, I actually am currently applying for a position as a policy specialist right That's now. Awesome. Um, and so I'm really excited for that, um, being mm -hmm. able to do empirical research and present it to stakeholders within the criminal justice system and inform mm -hmm. real world policy. Um, so I'm pretty excited and I have my fingers crossed. <laughs> that is that is very, very exciting. And definitely what you're describing is a perfect example of how our students learn to use science and apply the psychological scientific method um, to, to different settings that you're interested in working in. Um, mm -hmm. You mentioned that your, your advisor is Dr. Miko Wilford. I also know that you receive your funding by being her research assistant. Um, can you tell folks a little bit more about what that's like to be a research assistant as part of your graduate assistantship? Of course. So in the first couple of years, you're doing coursework here. Um, and so you're balancing um, about nine credits or three classes with um, up to 18 hours of work a week. And so as a research assistant, you get that hands-on, um, really applied experience that you would want out of the lab, sort of creating these experiments, helping to um, write measures and collect data. There's a lot of mentoring of undergraduate students um, and getting to understand how grants really work. Um, Dr. Wilford's grant comes from the National Science Foundation. So mm -hmm. every year we do progress reports and we look forward to the next year to see what we'll do on our big project. Um, and it's a really great experience for what will come after school for me especially. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I'm really glad you got a chance to have this experience while you're here. Um, so Kelly, when we chatted about doing this interview, you had um, graciously agreed to also talk a little bit about what it's like to be a student. Um, I know a lot of students, prospective students are concerned about various ways in which being a graduate student can affect their personal lives. Um, you know, you're a single mom and you have a young kid. Um, can you say a little bit more about how you balance being a mother and being a graduate student? Sure. Um, first, I think you learn to live with a little bit of chaos, but I also think that it makes you a stronger person. And mm -hmm. um, one thing that really helped me was treating the PhD program like a nine to five job. Mm -hmm. um, when mm -hmm. before, well, before the pandemic, when my son was in daycare, I really worked strictly nine to five to be able to mother outside of those hours when he was home from daycare. Um, and so it just takes a little bit more um, self-discipline mm -hmm. and a little bit more um, just understanding where your priorities are. And so I would encourage anyone who has children to still go into graduate mm -hmm. programs if it's feasible for you, because mm -hmm. I think you're showing your children that um, you can really follow your dreams and set a good example for them later in life. And it just makes everyone in the family much stronger. 
Yeah, and in less than uh, in less than six months, you're going to be mommy PhD. Yeah, um, that's very <laughs> exciting for your son too. Yeah. Um, the other thing that students, prospective students, are curious about is what it's like to live in this area. Um, your, mm. I think a lot of prospective students will be interested to know that our students either live near campus, near Lowell, or about 25 miles away near Boston. Mm -hmm. um, you're someone who lives closer to campus. Can you describe for folks who are not um, familiar with the geographical area, what the greater Lowell area is like to live in? Sure. Um, so the greater Lowell area is a little more suburban than being near Boston, which is understandable. Mm -hmm. um, it can, uh, you might want to have a car um, to get to, mm -hmm. you know, Target or the grocery store. But I think one of the greatest selling points of this area is that you're an hour from the beach, you're within an hour of the city, you're within an hour of the mountains. Mm -hmm. um, so you really get all of the beauty of the country within this one small mm -hmm. area. Um, as someone who does a lot of hiking and a lot of outdoor mm -hmm. activities as my, you know, downtime, mm -hmm. I adore being here because my options are just so wide. Um, yeah, yeah, a lot of folks don't realize. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry, I was just gonna say, and even where I live, I have a small deck that looks out onto a nice, beautiful trees and everything, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's a really big benefit of being closer to campus plus the commute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the commute is, is a lot better. Uh, a lot of people don't realize how close Lowell is to the New Hampshire mountains. Mm -hmm. um, also very close to the beaches in Massachusetts, Maine, New Hampshire, um, as well as of course, easy enough to get into Boston. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, so it's a very nice centrally located area for whatever people's hobbies are. Mm -hmm. um, um, great, thank you very much, Kelly, for your time today uh, and sharing with us. So everyone, um, in a few weeks, I'm gonna be interviewing a student who's on the other end of the curriculum than Kelly. So Kelly's finishing very soon. Uh, I have another interview lined up with a student who just finished their first semester, so stay tuned for that. In order to not miss that video or any other videos that we put up, please click on that red subscribe button right now. Also, our website, um, email, and Twitter information is going to be in the description. And thank you for watching. We hope to hear from you soon. Bye.